In this quick Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create an underwater audio effect like this. To achieve this underwater audio effect, we're going to do two things. We're going to EQ the music track and we're adding some sound effects to emphasize the feeling of being underwater. I've got my clip on the timeline and I'm going to use this free music track from Upbeat. If you want amazing free music for your YouTube videos, go ahead and check out Upbeat. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you so you can get 10 free tracks of your choice every month. Okay, step number one is to EQ the music. I'm going to go ahead and make a cut in the music track right where I'm mostly underwater and then I'm going to make another cut in the track when I come back out of the water. I'll select all three of these parts and then hit Command G to group them together. I'll select the middle section and add an EQ. You can find a channel EQ in your effects browser or you can just hit Command Alt E to add the channel EQ effect. Next, you'll add a high pass filter to filter out the low frequencies and you'll add a low pass filter to filter out the high frequencies. You can be quite aggressive with the EQ to exaggerate the effect. Then you'll want to add a cross dissolve by selecting the cut and hitting Command T to transition from the normal music to the EQ'd music. I normally make this shorter, so I would select the cross dissolve and hit Control D to change the duration to about 10 frames and then hit return. Under the cross dissolve properties in the inspector window, I'll change the ease amount to 100 so that the transition between the two is nice and smooth. And I'll also set the fade in and fade out type to plus 3 dB so that we have a nice strong transition. I'll alt drag that cross dissolve onto the second cut so that I don't have to redo those settings. And because I take a little bit longer to come back out of the water in this shot, I'll hit Ctrl D again and change the duration to one second and zero zero frames. I might need to retime this transition slightly and this is what that sounds like. It's often the little things that make a big impact. And that brings us to step number two, which is to add sound effects. And that will really drive this effect home. I searched for underwater sound effects on Upbeat. If you upgrade to the premium plan, you get unlimited downloads, access to more tracks and even sound effects. I found a splash, an underwater whoosh, and underwater ambient sound effects to add in. Let's have a listen to just the sound effects. Let's put that all together with the music and listen to the final effect one last time. Oh, you're still here. Well, in that case, I can tell you that I'm planning a Q&A video and I would love for you guys to send me your questions. You can ask me anything about Final Cut Pro, editing in general, workflows, problems you have with Final Cut Pro, gear that I use, anything you might want to know about me or the channel, whatever you like. Send your questions through in the comments down below or DM me on Instagram and then I will answer as many of them as I possibly can. Thanks for watching.